So just how important is an editing style in photography? In today's video, I'm gonna test it out. I'm taking one picture and I'm editing it in five completely different ways to show you guys, hey, it kinda is important to have your own style and there's a lot of them, so let's get started. So the first editing style that I'm gonna use is my personal editing style. I thought this would be a fun one to start with. It's the one that I use for all of my photography, well, most of it anyways. Depending on what kind of look I'm going for, sometimes I will change the tone of the picture, but usually I like to include bold colors. I like to add, you know, hints of magenta in there, sometimes a little bit of red. These are the types of colors that I use in my everyday photography, so I thought it was cool to start out with that. So the next look is the dusty photo edit, which is one of my personal favorites, actually. I don't post this one a lot because it, I get mixed reactions. Some people like it, other people are like, well, you have a $5,000 camera and you're, you know, you make your pictures look like it was taken with a $1 camera and that's the, yeah, it's hard to respond sometimes to that. So for this particular look, you're gonna just need a lot of dust, a lot of scratches. I usually go online, I find a dust pack, and then I set it to screen, exclusion, multiply, I mean, there's so many different types of layer settings that you can use to just bring out th that dust, <laughs> to bring it out, you know, like, let it shine. Where the bunny's at? Cause there's a bunch of dust on this picture. You know, this is terrible. I'm trying to make a joke, but it's hard. Like I'm trying to come up with different dust jokes without using the word dust because I feel like I overused it. But anyways, here's the look. Let's just go to it. So this one I like to call, you know, the oversaturated slash vibrant photo look. Now, you've probably seen this on Instagram, you know, we have the very, very extremely bright colors. I mean, you can't be sad looking at these pictures. You know, people make it look great. I gotta give it to them. That It's not easy to do. It's, you know, you can end up making it look like it was taken in the circus, which is what I've done sometimes. There's a lot of bright, vivid colors, and I really wanted to try that out because I, I don't really edit like that. Some people have described the style as looking cartoony, not realistic, it looks like a digital painting. I've heard all of that, but you just can't deny the fact that it's such a distinct style and people like it. There, there's definitely you know, an audience for that. Now, let me show you guys my attempt at this style. It was actually really hard. It looks easy, but it's not. So the next style is the moody photo look and this includes desaturation of the colors. We have a lot of grays in there, there's no pure whites, there's no life to the picture and that's what makes it look nice somehow. That's just what photography does. You, you guys know where I'm going with this, okay? Like do I even need to, you guys know. There's no life to the picture and you, you had no life while editing it. I think that's the essence of the picture. That's what makes it great. So for this look, uh, all I had to do was really just decrease the colors and everything, and then add some contrast with the curves layer. And that's it. Okay, let's roll it to the last clip. <laughs> The last look is the golden hour warm toned look and I absolutely love this type of editing. It's kind of hard for me to do because I don't always get the chance to shoot during golden hour and then when it is golden hour, there's no, I can't find the sun anywhere, okay? It's nowhere to be found. Someone call the police, get a search team because I can't find it. It's missing. It's kind of like a gold tone, warm tone photo and it's, I think I kind of messed it up but I'm gonna show it anyways because maybe some one person likes it so for this one it was all about kind of toning the picture to be warmer uh bringing out more golden colors it was actually this one was, was a tough one the best thing i can tell you guys if you want this look is to just shoot during golden hour so you know an hour before sunset but let me show you guys my attempt at it again this was not taken during golden hour i think it was taken in like the time opposite of golden hour So let's do a quick recap. Let's see all five photos. Let me know 
what you guys think below in the comments. Which is your favorite? Which which do you hate? Like, did I do a good job? Did I not do a good job? Let me know. And I would love to thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope this makes you guys think about how important having an editing style is in photography. You know, developing your own specific colors, your own specific tones that people can just recognize you based off of those colors before even seeing who took the picture they see the colors and they're like that's my girl jessica the, the terrible photo edit that's her i know her you know the edit and she crops the feet at the bottom that's her that's jessica no one else could do such a bad job but her i'm just roasting myself thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys later